Stay tuned after the lesson to hear the instructor's comments and summary. In this video, we're going to do how to remove stubborn or stripped bolts. So students right now are in fuel systems. This is a great opportunity. Man, look at this. We got three sets of carburetors here. And then, uh, Lexi, you said you had numerous stripped bolts on there. Our whole problem a lot of times is used in the wrong Phillips screwdriver. And in a previous video, someone had made mention how we aren't even using the right screwdrivers, that they make, uh, you know, Japanese screwdrivers by the brand, or they have the, the call letters on them, JIS screwdrivers, where they have an even better fit. Uh, one great YouTube uh, follower even posted a picture uh, in the comments of one of the videos or whatnot. So if you want to just Google it, look up JIS screwdrivers, and they would work for our metric screws really surprises people. But we're going to be able to use this number two Phillips to get most of these out most of the time. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and figure out which fastener is giving us grief. Okay, is that pretty buggered up? Yeah. Yep. I'm going to switch to a, a, a position like this. Okay, now with this bracket on here, I'm afraid maybe I could bend it or whatnot. What I might want to do underneath the bench there, give me a couple two by fours. This is thinking outside the box mechanics. We need you, us dealers, we need you to be able to think like this, okay? Do I have a good square surface now? Yes. Yep. You know, maybe I only need one. In this case, that's all I need. Now I'm back to a surface where I'm not going to bend this bracket. If I bend this bracket, what's that bracket control? Trial cable. Okay, so if, I, if you take a look at this, and you can see here that the throttle cables are aimed at the throttle cam, if I bend this bracket, it's going to strain them every single time I open and close that, right? Mm -hmm. So this is that whole thing about having mechanical integrity of what you do. Let's get back to the problem at hand, and that is this stripped screw. I'm going to take my number two Phillips here. You can see here it wants to lift, right? Mm -hmm. okay. On the tightening, whoever put this on stripped it, tightening it. I've got, watch this on reverse. I've got pretty good grip here. Now, let me ask you, Alex, when you saw this damage here, what are you expected to do to your, your boss or service manager? Point it out to him. Before you attempt anything, right? Right. So that's what he did here. I specifically train and teach here, point it out before you start messing with it so that you don't get blamed. Now, I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to see if I can get this to work. Let's uh, get my body language in here first. If possible, I'm going to put my chest up against the screwdriver here, no gap in here. I'm going to align my wrist so that I'm going to turn with my wrist. Does that make sense? I don't want to go here and turn my whole body. It's, it's just more awkward to do. So I'm going to take it here and I was able to get it out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just weld this thing on there. Ah! So I've got that baby on there real tight. Another. Uh, example, actually a student brought this up today. Hoagie came over seeing we were struggling and said, hey, have you ever heard of the fact that you could put some valve grinding compound in there? So we could take it like this and put a little valve grinding compound in there to, to take the grit of the valve grinding compound and sometimes you just kind of pack that down in there and it'll just give you a little bit more bite. Okay, all right, I'm going to show you what my favorite tool, favorite way any mechanic that knows this trick is going to be like, yeah. Here is a every mechanic should own tool. Snap on. I'm sure there's other vendors out there, but we like these guys here. Let's get in on this part number here. Write this down right now. 5ACP. See how aggressive these teeth are? Yep. Here and do you see, here's what why the tool is so successful. Do you see how tight of an arch there is right here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not real square like a big pair of pliers. If I take a pair of pliers, I want to try and get this screw out. Do you see how the edge of the pliers I run out of room? I'm bottomed out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I just don't have any room. I got nice aggressive teeth on there. Let's switch. These are all snap-on tools here. So if I go to needle nose, do you see how I just don't have a very aggressive tooth on there? Yep. It's more like a file. Check this guy out. Now watch what I'm going to do. i got to make sure that the teeth are not on, grabbing onto the, the bowl too closely. I want to try and be up on the screw. And then also, I know I'm going this direction, so shouldn't I preload this as far away as I can? Yep. Yep. Look at the death grip that I can get on this. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I can go ahead and break it free. As soon as it's broke free, I'm going to go back to here. 
use a traditional tool, take it apart, and then move on. Way cool tool, absolutely saved the day. Listen to me, what do I need to do right now? Write it on the work order that there is a Write it on the work order. I'm telling you, if you do this, if you take this apart and put it in your bin, guys, you're gonna overlook screws, you're gonna overlook simple stuff. We work here on work orders on clipboards you know, break it free, maybe even write it down before you even mess with it. Be like, whoa, I need a carburetor bowl screw on the back corner. Could these be different lengths? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a couple other examples here that are being buggers. And I'm gonna try and see if my pliers are go get in there. Hold the carburetor, I'm gonna double, double this one. Goodness. Okay. That's a lie. That's time saving. What right was the success there? Uh, being intentional with your body. Your went back and forth. Okay, you saw that there was the back and forth. Hey guys, I'm not going to cause any more damage because I know what that release point is. Just tell yourself if it's lifting. Let me go in a forward motion here. If it's if it's doing this, if it's coming out and up, quit. It will not, the screw will not come out. Quit right there. Just wanted to show you another example of this uh, live and in action with a student actually attempting these techniques. Here's uh, Anthony just being successful at getting out one of these fasteners using these methods. Let's look at our checklist of tools. So in your toolbox, you need these, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yep. Seriously, the reason and rationale for these was not to cause more damage, right? Do we as technicians, we create so much human air, the moment we touch things from just not slowing down a little bit to think about things. We're going to be real intentional there. Did you notice our workbench here is clean? That's numerous different ways to get those out because what we're trying to avoid is getting a drill out. That's what I don't want to do. Make sense? Yep. Yeah.